Good afternoon, my name is Gabaydoul in Marcel. I am the founder of the company Construction Innovations. Our company manufactures equipment for producing fiberglass and composite rebar, mesh panels, and flexible ties. We have been supplying our production mines since 2011. Our team has already completed more than 50 projects in countries such as Russia, Belarus, the United Arab Emirates, and Kazakhstan. For our clients, we provide a full cycle of services, design, installation, commissioning, training, and 24-7 technical support. Our engineers stay in touch from the very first call until the production line reaches full operational capacity. We are confident in the quality of our products and offer a one-year warranty along with extended support. Now I will explain how the line works. There are racks with fiberglass and a splicer for joining old spools that are running out with new ones. This is the pre-tensioning and preheating unit. Here, the roving is pre-tensioned and dried. It is equipped with a knot catching system because sometimes knots come out of the spools and it automatically shuts down the line. This is the combined impregnation unit. Here, there are blades for preliminary squeezing and dies for subsequent final squeezing. Next, we have the unit for winding the periodic profile and forming the actual round cross section of the rod. Here is the control panel. All parameters are set and monitored from this very panel. Next, we have a 9-meter polarization oven with temperatures up to 300 degrees and four different channels. This is where the rod is polymerized. After that, we have a recirculating cooling bath. This is necessary to cool the heated rod down to acceptable temperatures. Next, we have a pulling device, either of the track type or the oval type, like on that line over there. The track type device allows for the production of rebar up to and including 32 millimeters in diameter. After that, we have a coiling machine, which enables coiling rebar up to 12 millimeters in diameter. The coil diameter is adjustable. The facility we are in is 42 meters long and allows for the production of rebar in rods up to 12 meters in length. The equipment can be installed in a 30 meter long facility, but in that case, the maximum rod length will be no more than 6 meters. The production speed for rebar with a 12 millimeter diameter is 21 meters per minute. With the equipment running at full capacity, a single line can produce 900 kilometers of rebar per month. However, in practice, as our experience shows, the actual figure is about 700 kilometers, taking into account technological reloads, stoppages, equipment cleaning, and other processes. Our line is one of the highest speed lines available on the composite materials market. Regarding equipment reliability, our lines operate at our own facility 24-7, 365 days a year. They are constantly being upgraded and improved to identify and address any weak points. More than 50 production lines are already in operation in Europe, United Arab Emirates and around the world. For example, these include companies such as Motondetal in Kosnoyarsk, which has four rebar production lines, MAC Composite in Minsk, Belarus, which has three rebar production lines, Arab Basalt Fiber Company, which has eight rebar production lines. All products manufactured on our equipment have repeatedly undergone and continue to regularly undergo all necessary tests and certifications according to ISO and ASTM international standards. When producing 700,000 linear meters of 12 mm rebar at a cost of 50 cents per meter, the markup will average 10 cents per meter. Accordingly, under ideal conditions, the equipment costs can be recouped within one to two months. Construction Innovations is a leading Russian developer and supplier of lines for the production of composite fiberglass rebar. We are experts in the equipment manufacturing market. Contact us today and in just two months, your line will reach full production capacity.